So this is my SCX24. Uh, I've had this for a year and never made a video on it. And I don't know why. This, as much shit as I talk about SCX24s, is the best crawler I have. Look, that's really odd. On the camera, that light is flashing, but in real life, it's not. It's pretty cool. What about the headlights? No. Frames per second. Anyway, this is the Warthog chassis. You guys remember that? I got it on Etsy. And I built this. First, I made it into a dually. I didn't like the way it performed. And then I just put some regular tires. Matter of fact, these came off the fire horse. Not the tires, the wheels. I put some tires that I had and oh my god does it crawl well it needs a new motor it has a high speed I can't I think called a ripsaw motor a mofo ripsaw so I need to put a new ESC and motor because it's, it's kind of jumpy but the flex and the way it slithers over stuff is unbelievable dude You don't have to worry about tipping. See how it just hugs. Let's see, I'll try. This is like the impossible side of the rock. My crawling rock. I bet you this thing will go over it. It'll go over, almost over anything. Completely vertical. It don't give a fuck, dude. Look, see, told you. Oh, <laughs> there you go. The best. I should really put some better electronics. Now, let me know what. Let me know what you think. I think I'm gonna buy another Warthog chassis and put FCX, the FCX, uh, FCX24 motor and transmission with the two-speed, or maybe just the transmission and keep it locked in lower high. I can change it and make it like a super badass crawler. But this is really good, dude. All mofo parts, full brass axles, Emax, really good. See, I didn't want to get rid of the lights. I literally just glued them on top of the chassis, but it ended up looking all right. It ended up looking all right. Uh, I think, I can't remember exactly. They sell different hoods. So I think one comes up here, so it might fit a FCX24 transmission. I think it would that'd be some work but oof, with that smooth transmission and that motor I try to I definitely try to fit a two-speed definitely need the two-speed I don't know they're cheap enough I was gonna build one of these the fear tech fuck that I am not spending 70 60 or 70 however the fuck much it is on a little two thin ass strips fuck that dude I don't like fear tech Fear Tech can suck my balls. Fear Tech shit's way overpriced. I mean, it's badass, but fuck, man. They're taking advantage of people. Just because who else makes super cool stuff for the little guys? Not really that many people. They know it. Dude, look at this ESC. You can almost get a Max 6 for that. A couple bucks more, you can get a Max fucking 6 8S ESC. Fuck you. Anyway. I'll stick with the FCX24 ESC motor. Motor smooth, 40 bucks. Anyway, I just want to make a quick video showing this. Oh, the uh, shocks. I just have some hot racing FC or uh, SCX24 shocks. And in the front are stock SCX24 shocks. Now, they don't do as very much as <laughs> shocks. They kind of just lay sideways. But they do allow it to slither and tons of flex which is pretty damn cool the links come from the same guy that sold the warthog chassis these are dude i don't even remember i just built this thing out of parts but i was like man i need to put this on the channel because i play with it all the time i'm like i don't think i've ever made a video on this warthog scx24 and even though it's all jumpy and not super butter smooth it is still a blast dude It just fucking goes, slithers like a snake. It does have a little bit of speed with that motor. It is a Ripsaw Mofo.
So it's pretty good. Probably needs a little more weight, but I just like the way it performs, so I'm not changing it. But maybe in the future I'll get another one of these chassis since they're only 30 bucks. Anyway, quick one showing this thing that I've never shown before. Thanks for watching.